watching Mad Dan UK. Sit tight and enjoy. It's Bone UK, so I'm going to show you Premiere Pro render settings, uh, specifically Premiere Pro CC. Um, now I have my uh, media here, which I'm going to be rendering and exporting for you guys. Uh, this isn't actually 60 FPS, um, so do we kind of forget about that, but it's going to come up with a couple of errors basically, but uh, it isn't to matter. So if you're going to be rendering the whole clip, then it's going to do that anyway for you. If you want to render just a selection, you want to click I uh, at the start of where you want to do it, and O at the end, so that would be my little bit there. Okay, so to start with, Whenever we create a project, we want to go to File, New, and then Sequence. And we're going to have to set up some settings in here. Now for you, you're going to want to go to DVC Pro HD, click the little drop down, go to 1080p, and then click this one here. It's going to be at 24 frames per second. Now that's lower than we want to, what we want to do. So you're going to go up to the Settings tab, and then we're going to change all of these. Now at the end of this video you can click save preset and that's going to give you a preset down here which I've already done here which is 1080p 60fps YouTube so go into settings on your screen you're going to want to make that custom 60 frames per second here now if you aren't recording at 60fps then do change it to 29.97 that's most likely what you're going to be filming in but do check with whatever device you are using you want to put the frame size to 1920 by 1080 and then that's going to once you actually change that to square pixels, that's going to flick to 16.9 as well. This is widescreen. Leave that at no fills, progressive scan, and make sure that is 60 FPS time code. Now, depending on what recording device you are using for your microphone or however your input is for audio, um, this is most likely going to stay like this, but do check otherwise. Um, and then leave all this here as it is. Don't bother clicking any of these, leave it as it is then click save preset and obviously then you can name it what you want to call it so I'm going to open up that now and drag it on whatever okay so that's now on there to render it you go to file export export media come up with a little pop up here now you want to make the format H.264 uh, if, you're, if this doesn't show up for whatever reason uh, it's probably because you don't have quick time, so just go down like quick time, see if that sorts it out. Uh, if not, then leave me a comment and I will help you out. Uh, change this, you want to click Y just to be quick, or just scroll to the bottom if you can, scroll quickly. And put it on YouTube 1080p HD. Uh, you want to export the video and the audio, so do that. Also at the end of this, you can save the preset like I have. Uh, I've saved it up here, YouTube 1080p 60fps. Oh, I've noticed error there. Um, anyway, uh, so once you've done that here, click the video tab, it might be on effects to begin with, but leave that blank. Uh, go to the videos tab and then make sure this is what it is. Uh, if this just says 50 like it has done for me, then change it and untick that box there and click 60. Uh, square pixels, that's what we want. If it does error, then it's probably because this is at 4 and not 4.2 and the profile isn't high. So make that high and 4.2. Now if you're using a Hapag HD PVR gaming device, which is what I'm using, I actually record at, uh, let me just click that and change it to 15, I record at 15 megabytes per second bitrate, uh, depending on your camera or whatever you are using, or whatever you're recording with, uh, you want to kind of look into this and see what bitrate you're recording so you don't mismatch the uh, two you know, video file itself and the rendering settings. And you can also um, leave with these blank here and just click export. And there you go, your video is going to be exporting, it's going to take a little while on my Mac. Uh, it's not the most powerful thing in the world for rendering, I use my other computer usually. But uh, that's it for today's video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, do obviously leave a like, that's very helpful, and also comment below saying it did help you out. And if you are wanting to stick around, please do subscribe, it's been Bemini K, and I'm out. Peace guys, cheers.